Hi, it's Rich from Street Gear, 245 Fulton Avenue, Hempstead, New York. We're going to review the 2010 Night Gear Jordan. Showcase. This shoe uh, released February 13th. Um, it was a $160 retail. Uh, it's got a different, unique box. I'll take this other pair out so you can show, show both of the pair. Now this is a unique Jordan, how they made it. Um, as you can see here, they have put that all leather, multi-grain leather toe cap here, um, which helps to give it support and gives it gives it a good look. Uh, it stops the, 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 the seam up here from, from wearing under stress. Uh, that's why they, they did this, this treatment. Um, they've also got um, a viewing window here, which perforated holes. This is for, because Jordan could see through his opponents, so that was the theme of this whole thing, where he could see through uh, it's opponents and you can see through the shoe so whatever sock you're wearing whether it be red black it would also come through that backing which would give it um, a different look um, there's also the, there's a midsole here crinkled look there in, in the red part and also a little bit back here on this heel counter here and here um, this was for Jordan's try try again till you succeed and that's how he succeeded so they kind of left that crinkled look to show his, I guess, trials and tribulations of what he had to go through to succeed. Um, gives it a, it gives it, um, you know, a meaningful look. Of course, you see the heel, the heel is cut out lower on the um, outside versus the inside. Um, that's supposed to be better fitting um, while you're playing ball. Um, there's a, there's a textured, uh, not a textured pattern, but almost like an acid wash kind of feel in here inside the shoe. You can look at it there. Also, the bottom, just an all black bottom. Not much going on the bottom of the shoe, but um, it's a different Jordan. I mean, it's nice. It's very lightweight. Uh, it's supposed to be very, you know, as far as for basketball, it's supposed to be the latest technology. Um, of course, you got the red. Oh, you also have a symbol up here, which this is what I really like. I love this new two-three symbol. And again, they're putting it on this Jordan here, which is nice. And the other Jordan has the other side has just the jump man with the circle. The Jordan with the circle. So that's that look. Uh, just to check the rear, uh, you also, like I said, you also have plastic. These are also um, for support issues, but I think it also gives it a, a good look. It kind of works well with this plastic see-through window as they bought the plastic on the heel counter and on the forefoot. So it kind of balances out, I think, um, the plastic window viewing look. Also, what you have here, this, this, this material is perforated here for breathability, um, for function of the shoe. Sometimes you'll see dots here and they're not perforated but this shoe is perforated those are actually holes to let the shoe breathe better um, but that's it that's the new Jordan 2010 we'll be reviewing uh, next probably maybe the Air Max 95s the black and gray that's that comes out every once in a while and just to give everybody a look at it I'm just gonna review that one and as long with the black and red spizzikes, I'm going to do a take on that. So just check back on YouTube and you'll see a couple videos on that.